So wait a minute, you you used to break dance or you used oh, to? Oh yeah, I mean you know, I don't know. Filipino and break dancing goes along. You know? It does. <laughs> they they it go does. together. It's like <laughs> you're either a dancer or a DJ. So you know, when you're younger, you're in, you're, you're into dancing. I was into uh, you know, I had my own break dancing group and stuff. And then, really? Yeah. Wait yeah. a minute. This is something <laughs> I don't know. It's conversations <laughs> like this where you can learn something new about artists from our local music scene. And thanks to host meteorologist Coquinas, Samara Coquinas, we're hearing <laughs> new sounds but also some new stories. The newest episode of Riff on This is out, and right now we are joined by meteorologist Samara Coquinos. Isn't today your day off? Today's my day off. Oh my okay. gosh, it's like you're a real guest coming in on your day off. <laughs> it's Good weird. Morning. Good morning. But, yeah. it, but so, it really has been like, I mean, it's funny how you say, you know, it's your day off, but you've been, you're so happy just to come in and talk about it, because this has really been like a passion project for the past couple months. Exactly. It really has been, and I mean, I've been working on this for a few months now, and it's just been one of those things where I find, you know, even on my days off, I'm making Making content or I'm scheduling interviews or I'm doing something for this podcast and it's been so fun I mean catching up with a lot of my friends and getting to interview them and to hear their stories or their mm -hmm. stories are so much fun seriously they're a lot of fun and this format you know it's so nice we often do stories that are a minute 30 this you can get into all sorts of stuff and like you said you're learning new things about your friends yeah exactly <laughs> exactly I was like wait a minute you had a group of dancers he's like yeah we used to go to battles and everything I'm like, oh a, a dance battle. A dance battle. I felt like I was in a movie. I was like, wait a minute, are we going back to my youth here? So, um, yeah, you, you learn so much just by hearing their stories of, you know, how they became who they are now. And, and I think that's really important for people to hear, whether you're established already mm -hmm. or if you're up and coming or mm -hmm. if you're behind the music scene like um, promoters are a lot of times. Um, and um, I, this this clip is really funny because you saw how low he was in the chair, right? Yeah. Oh, Did we have the sinking chair. We have, have some sinking, sinking chairs chair. around here. We have the sinking. I feel oh. so bad. I'm so sorry. We about can't that. be giving guests the sinking chair. Well, That's special for it. us. We fixed okay. it. But the thing is, the blooper is actually in the episode. <laughs> That's funny. But so, Mary, you you have such a rich history with music growing up. Your your father had a music store. Tell us about the history and and why you're so connected to to this topic. So, yeah, my dad did own a, um, a music store, which um, is, a, is going to be another episode. We talk about, you know, when he when he owned that store and all the bands that he played in. And, um, you know, it was in the 70s and 80s when Daytona Beach was a completely different scene. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so funny um, whenever you hear these stories because you're like, you know, you're in the moment now. You're living this now. And it really takes you back and it shows different perspective as to how the scene has changed over the years. How Daytona Beach went from you know, all of these um, just bars full of live bands to DJs in the disco era. So it was a really cool opportunity to sit down with him and really talk to him about that. Um, but, you know, we, yeah, we, I was always going to hear live bands play as a kid. Um, I play a little bass guitar, you know, <laughs> so... Um, there was, uh, Crystal had interviewed me and said, you know, there, there was a whole trumpet moment, okay? Right. It's not a good one. I feel like we need video of that at some yeah. point because it's not the goodness, second time before. we're hearing about it. This was before <laughs> Facebook. This was before MySpace, thank goodness. Spirit you know? and pigtails. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that young. But, yeah, it was, um, you know, music has always just been there. And then um, I did co-own an entertainment company uh, for a few years before um, really getting into news. And that was... You know, I thought for a minute, I thought, well, I can I can do this. I can do this right. I can get back into entertainment. And and then I was like, man, it's going to take a minute. It didn't. Mm -hmm. It really didn't. I started calling people, and then everybody was like, this is going to be great. You know, I've had so much um, support from love and friends and, and people that I've known for years, and I really do appreciate There's that. There's no shortage yeah. of content. You could do a podcast every day with the <laughs> local, local artists here. Right. Yeah, absolutely. There's so many um, local artists, and there's, you know, Everything from, you know, I have saxophonists, I have DJs, I have promoters, I have my professor. Mm -hmm. You know, my Amber Riddle professor is on my show because he brought his 12-string guitar. Yeah. And it, you know, I'm like, dude, really? You know, this happens. And as we, and as we learned earlier in the show... We've got Dr. Phillips High School. Yeah. That has, oh, yeah. That you could do a, a whole music, podcast right? just so on people from Dr. Phillips High School. Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So this episode, DJ Chino, so kind of give us a little background of the, the latest episode. The latest episode, um, DJ Chino, he, he's, he's 
he's such a great guy, really, honestly. He's so much fun and so just full of life. Um, but, you know, he, he started out, you know, in Hawaii, actually the Philippines, going mm -hmm. to Hawaii, coming to, the, to like, the uh, Florida area, and just going from breakdancing to DJing to producing. It's, it's a really cool interview, so check it out. With some bloopers in there, too. Bloopers. <laughs> all right, so well, how can we find all your information and things like that? Click Orlando.com underneath the podcast tab, but we're also on, you know, all your um, podcast streaming platforms like Apple, Spotify, Google Podcast, Stitcher. Um, we're on YouTube, and trust me, it's all on my social media. Mm -hmm. I am constantly promoting it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just come up with riff on this. I riff on this. That. No, that, you know, we have to give credit to the um, creative team. They gave yeah. me a list a of list. names, and I was just like, that one. That's I really one. like that one. So we like it. Guitar too. riffs. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Samira. Yeah. We're looking forward to these new episodes of Riff on This. They drop every other Thursday, so you can listen to Samira's full interviews, including the latest with DJ Chino and his story. Look for the web story at clickorlando.com slash podcasts.